Hey guys, Fox here. FXRC. FXRC. With another custom RC. And this is something a little different than what I normally do, I guess. It is the Traxxas TRX4 Sport. Look at this truck. Came out absolutely phenomenal. What a nice truck. So, I'm, I'm not, you know, really big into the crawling, I guess. Um, but it is super fun and, and I'd like to. And this is so that this is only my second crawler, I guess, I've ever really done. Crawler slash trail rig, I guess. Maybe more of a trail rig. I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, I don't do this. I, I wasn't really going for scale look stuff because there's all kinds of scale for this uh, look for this truck. Uh, you know, there's they got the roof rack and all that stuff, but I didn't want to really add any more unnecessary weight, especially to the body. Uh, one of the reasons I even went with this is because, you know, the body is super light and there's just nothing to it. Um, because I knew I was probably going to add it, uh, end up adding a ton of weight uh, above the springs anyway. So, uh, anyway, I kind of, I guess, want to say I veered more towards performance than anything, I guess, for the most part. And it, this truck definitely met all my criteria. Um, one, it looks just amazing. Uh, just a bad, badass truck. And two, uh, it, 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 out of the box, this truck is amazing. So, I mean, it was already great. And then, and then three, there is an abundance of aftermarket parts for this thing. Uh, so many, more than, I mean, just, and, and anywhere on the scale too. I mean, there's like lower end aftermarket parts to like crazy high end aftermarket parts. So there's just all over the all over the spectrum on this. It's so much you can do, uh, you know. So anyway, this is the kind of the route I went. Um, and there is uh, probably a million different combinations you can go with this truck. So anyway, getting to it, what you can see, I got the vanquish aluminum bead lock wheels beautiful sitting on that are the proline high racks 1.9 look at those these are just some really awesome really awesome rubber right here sticky sticky just cool cool tires uh the rims are all, all super nice too um it uses sae uh um, hardware, which is, I'm, I'm surprised that Vanquish still does that. Um, but besides that, they're awesome. So, and then, uh, in the tire, I got crawler innovation foams. Um, I th it's a dual stage, I think I'm pretty sure. Um, and I want to say it's like the little Novas or something like that. So awesome. They make just some of the best foams. So crawler innovation and then uh let's see what else on the front i got yeah racing front bumper it's just kind of the bull nose bumper um there's so many different uh, like i said variations of stuff you can get for this um and it got expensive very quick uh so i mean yeah racing's kind of yeah you know, I, I mean they're pretty good so I, I mean they're not but i but there are some companies that are really high end um so they're not they're, compared to all of that they they're really not that bad, I guess. So anyway, good. Okay, yeah, racing front bumper, aluminum. Also got the uh, yeah racing um, skid rails, and I actually lifted this up so that the bottom of it is flush with the underside of the chassis. You know, so it just gives me give me plenty of clearance until I actually hit those skid rails. And then on the rear, I have an uh, aluminum bumper by kyx um it's okay it's nice uh it sticks out a little bit this way i mean as you can see more so than i could tell when i bought it in the pictures but it's all right and then i i think it kind of sticks out um this way a little bit there's these two little nubs on there that 
kind of stick out. Uh, I've actually considered Dremel on them right off. And um, some of it's because I, I have the body drop down a little bit. Uh, and, and then I also have the bumper raised up by the bumper mount. You just flip it around and you can actually raise the bumper up quite a bit uh, just to give you plenty of clearance there. So anyway, it looks good. It's nice. It's got, it's, you know, it's all curved. So supposedly you know, it'll slide and stuff. We'll see. But besides this being a TRX4 Traxxas badass truck, the other thing that makes it special is what's on the inside. So let's take a look at this beautiful truck. Would you look at that? It's stunning. This thing came out just absolutely beautiful. I'll start out with the electronics. The heart, as always, is the Castle Creation Mamba X. And it's a 6S ESC. This ESC is amazing. Such an amazing ESC. Uh, and so tiny. All aluminum and just super, super efficient. Uh, just amazing ESC. And censored. It's crazy. Uh, probably the best in its class, I would say, for sure. As far as ESCs. And then, got the Holmes Hobby Puller Pro V2 4100 uh, KV. And this is the 540L, which is uh, which is Holmes Hobbies, I guess, 550 motor, which they call it the 540L, L for long, that is. Um, yeah, I went with a little higher KV. It's the same motor I have in my Wraith uh, because this is a Sport and it's only one speed, and I still wanted to get plenty of wheel speed, so I think this should do it. On 3S, should have no problem getting some wheel speed out of this motor. Uh, it's just a killer, killer motor, killer company, Holmes Hobby, and just... You can't go wrong. So, and then I got this. I'm powering it with my um, my Futaba uh, T4 PM. And now, obviously, the Futaba receiver. I got the Reese Triple Four servo. Um, this is a servo I just I, I had. Uh, I figured this would be a pretty good allocation for it. Um, if it's the trucks really not that heavy even with all the brass I, I, I imagine this servo is gonna have no problems with this at all but I do have strong ones um, in case it does you know maybe I'll throw something like this in it look at that servo crazy at 8.4 this thing's almost a thousand it's 970 something 972 ounces of the torque are you kidding me Jeez, that is insane. Almost a thousand in ounce inches of torque. And it's waterproof. What? Crazy. What a nice servo. It's a little pricey though. It's like 140 plus. So, but uh, I've, I've had a bunch of them now and I think it's worth it. I, they think they're just amazing. Anyway, back to the truck. What else? So I got, all, I got the aluminum hot racing battery tray that drops the battery down a little bit. Um, you know, my plan is to just throw a, a big stick battery in here and run this thing for a while, not have to worry about it. So um, I really wasn't worried about moving, you know, the battery forward and all that stuff. Uh, Cause I, I was hoping that I got enough brass on the underneath the counter sink and counter any weight that I put up here with the aluminum and stuff. So. Because I also have aluminum motor mount as well as the under part of the motor mount is all aluminum. Um, one of the things I haven't done is, which you can, is uh, the actual transfer case uh, that is still composite. Um, but they do have aluminum ones. Um, everything around it is aluminum. I don't, besides dissipating heat, I don't really see any benefit to doing that aluminum. Um, besides it looking cool, I guess. But anyway, I do have the aluminum rear brace by Hot Racing. Uh, and then, uh, you know, because I moved the servo forward, and this is a, uh, a brass servo uh, mount and brace or whatever it is in the front there. Uh, but I didn't, where the old servo is still a composite. I could, you can do this aluminum, but there's actually a mod that takes this motor and it uh, lifts it up a little bit, but it pulls it all the way forward. Um, and I was considering maybe doing that and checking that out, um, getting that motor all the way forward. I thought it would be pretty cool. Uh, 
I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how it goes right now, and and then maybe I'll do it. I'm not sure. So anyway, what else is on this side? I got all. I got the aluminum uh, shock mounts, shock towers, front and rear, and then I got the Proline Pro Scale. Uh, I want to say the 110 millimeter shocks. Uh, the stock shocks are really nice. Actually, they're not that bad. Uh, these are obviously, I think, a little bit better. Um, they just got crazy travel. Um, I think, I think this uh, these shocks are gonna work out nice. So uh, I'll use the stock shocks on something else. Uh, let's see what else is on this side. I think as far as over here, that is about it. So we'll flip her around and get the other side. I have quite a bit of brass on this, and this is all yeah racing. So it's the there's the C hub as well as um, I don't know all that case is all yeah racing. And I do have the upgraded uh, shafts, the dry shafts in there, axles on the inside, the uh, chrome molly ones, as well as that out out shaft gear thing that comes sticks out of two of the portal axle. Um, and those were very expensive for what they are. Um, now I have heard that that is a problem area is this actually breaking. So it's kind of why I did it. I didn't think that they would, wouldn't be strong, but I did it anyway. So I also have the, you know, the brass on the spring, spring perches down here. And then the brass on the outside of the portal axis in the rear. Um, and I actually, I believe the linkage is also brass and not aluminum. So uh, now the axles are still composite, the, uh, the axle housings. Uh, they do obviously have aluminum ones for this. Uh, um, I didn't do that. I don't know. I know, I mean, the, the composite is gonna slide better and uh, then the, the aluminum, uh, I might do it, but I just, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's necessarily really necessary, I guess. These are gonna be plenty strong, uh, so. Still composite, but I do have the al aluminum uh, cover there with the whole, you can really see it with the whole skid plate on there. There's a, a skull on there. I want to say it was by our uh, ballistic. So I have that on the, on the front and one on the rear that you really, I guess you can't really see it with that skid plate there, but and then I have the, the all, uh, stainless steel skid plates on there. My dry shaft is a uh, KYX. Uh, is that, is that what it is? Yeah. And then actually my uh, um, chassis plate here or whatever it is um, is actually aluminum too. So, but I got that total so slide right over it with the with the skid plate. So. And then I think that is about it. All the hexes are brass too. Uh, I want to say they're yeah racing, and I want no, they're a plus something. I think I want to say they're plus five maybe, or something like that, just to give me a little bit, a little bit more wider stance. So look at this truck. It came out beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I'm sure I'm leaving something out of this. So you can see how this is turned around to lift that back bumper up, uh, which is really cool. Uh, this rear rear mount is actually uh, aluminum too. That's something I didn't mention. You know, I'm sure I am forgetting something, but try to cover most of it. Looking, get this puppy out on some trails. See what it can do. See what it's capable of. But I'm definitely happy with the initial came out of this. Uh, you know, I might still do some more. Uh, for the most part, though, you know, you may decide a different body or something. Uh, but for the most part, I think it's about done. So anyway. Look at that truck came out 
phenomenal. Very mean, very aggressive. Should be a hell of a truck. Anyway, this is Fox FXRC. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. Doesn't cost you anything. Thank you so much. Bye.